guys we have a book haul video for you if you guys saw from the thumbnail i have a package from thrift books and then i have a box from book outlet these are probably the two places i order books from the most i do order occasionally from target occasionally from amazon but this is where you can definitely get the best prices um and i usually show them as individual hauls but these i ordered right around the same time so i figured i would just show it together so this is the one from thrift books and these are used books um they come in all different conditions they're usually listed so you can decide whether or not you want to order you know it'll say like condition fair excellent you know what i mean um i had to order from thrift books because i do book club videos can you guys tell i'm struggling to open this i do book club videos every thursday um and the book that was chosen was not a book that i had recommended which means i didn't own it um i mean sometimes books are recommended that i do own but i didn't own that one so I had to, to buy the book and on Amazon, I want to say it was like $12. And I said, let me see if Thrift Books have it. And Thrift Books had it for $5.99. But you have to spend, I think, $25 for free shipping. And I said, you know what? Those are the books I've been wanting. So I picked up two other books to get the free shipping. One of them is one of my favorite actresses, um, Lauren Graham. And she, I was about to say Lorelai because her character was Lorelai Gilmore over on The Gilmore Girls. I absolutely love the Gilmore Girls. I have been re-watching it and listening to the rewatch podcast with Scott Patterson, who is the male, the male, the man who plays Luke, who is Laura Graham's love interest at the end of the show. You could tell it was a do they, don't they. They were going to end up together. Um, there is like a few marks on the cover. I don't know if you guys can see a few marks around her eye. But other than that, it does seem to be in good condition. Um, and it says talking as fast as I can, because that was definitely a quality of Lorelai Gilmore. I don't know if that's something that comes natural to Laura Graham or if that was something that she had to do for the character. But it says from Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls and everything in between. It says this book contains some stories from my life, the awkward growing up years, the confusing dating years, the fulfilling work years and what it was like to be asked to play one of my favorite characters again, because they did when was it 2016 so already like six years ago they did a like remake it was only four episodes but they were like an hour and a half long episodes and each episode was a season so like a season of the year you know it was fall winter spring summer if i remember correctly and i loved it and ended on a cliffhanger and we never saw what happened what the fuck <laughs> excuse my language for your children watching but if you are somebody who has anything to do with the gilmore girls and you happen to be watching this i doubt it please continue um so she got the chance to play a character again. And then it says, also included tales of living on a houseboat, meeting guys at award shows, and that time I was asked to be a butt model. A hint, all three made me seasick. So this had been on my wish list for a while. And then I said, you know what? I got to get the 25 shipping anyway. So I picked this up because if not, I was going to pay for shipping. Of course, it would have been a little less money than me buying two books, but at least I get something out of it. And then the other one, oh, this is funny. I just showed I just did a video for my book club on Thursday and it was a book I bought pre-loved and it was a book of the month book um and this one was as well and I've been wanting to read this this is a like murder mystery from what I heard about it and it's called The Wife Upstairs it's supposed to be really good um it says meet Jane newly arrived to Brigham Al Alabama Jane is a broke dog walker in Thornfield Estates, a gated community full of McMansions, shiny SUVs, and bored housewives. The kind of place where no one will notice if Jane lifts the discarded tchotchkes and jewelry off the side tables of her well-heeled clients. When no one will think to ask if Jane is even her real name. Meet Eddie, recently widowed. He has become Thornfield Estates' most mysterious resident ever since his wife Bea drowned in a boating accident with her best friend. Their bodies lost to the deep. Jane can't help but see an opportunity in Eddie. Not only is he rich, brooding, and handsome, but he could also offer her the kind of protection she craves. Yet, as the two fall for each other, Jane is haunted by the legend of Bea, an ambitious beauty and successful entrepreneur with the rags to riches origin story how can she plain jane ever measure up and can jane win eddie's heart before her past or his catches up with her with delicious su suspense incisive wit wow this is some big words 
In a fresh feminist sensibility, The Wife of Stairs flips the script on Jane Eyre in a timeless tale of forbidden romance, ill-advised attraction, and a wife who just won't stay buried. Sounded really good. This book alone says it is worth $27.99. And like I said, I paid $25 for these two together, which are both hardcover, and my book club book, Library of the Dead. I That came in a separate package, thankfully, because I needed that one sooner for a video. Um, and it came really quickly. These two, two took a little bit longer, but definitely an amazing price. And then Book Outlet, Charmaine had contacted me. Me and her talk about Book, book Outlet from time to time. And she was like, hey, I got a $5 coupon in my email. Do you want it? And I said, yeah, I have some stuff sitting in my cart um, that I was like kind of giving my waiting. And like give, I had to give myself an excuse to order it. And I was like, oh, maybe if I get a bonus at work. And I've been waiting. I'm supposed to be getting one. But anyway, so she gave me the final coupon. It gave me the excuse and I ordered it. One thing I love about Book Outlet, you guys ready? Oh man, the first time it worked out perfect. Last haul I did this. But you pull the tab. Oh yeah, nope. And Batty with the book, if you're watching, it happened to me. I remember her telling me when she watched my video, she said, oh, your pull tab came out amazing. Mine's never do. And I love that. It's just a cute little touch. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a box. But I picked up some books. I wonder if there's an invoice in here. Cause I can't remember what I paid, but unlike thrift books, these are not used books. These are just like surplus that was in stores that was going to get like returned to the publisher or whatever, from what I've heard. Um, so it is a lot, lot cheaper. So let's show you the books. Wow. There's a lot of books here. So this one oh, has a Walmart price of 18. Definitely not what I paid. I think the most expensive book was maybe $10. Um, and this one is by Lisa Jewell and it's called Invisible Girl. I think a lot of these are like murder mysteries. Um, and it says the number one New York Times bestselling author of Then She Was Gone and The Family Upstairs returns with another thriller following a group of people whose lives shockingly intersect when a young woman disappears. I don't want to read the whole thing. Um, if you guys really want to know, let me know. I will comment it down below. You can always look it up. But... You know, just sit, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel like people want to sit here and watch me read. But the next thing I got has a tag for $16.99. But it says it is worth, like the original price was $27.99. Just like this one was $28. And this one was really popular. And it's called Reckless Girls. And I think that's, that's something to do with them being stuck on an island. Yeah, one island. Beautiful, wild, and strange. Moreau Island is a des desolate spot in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with a mysterious history of shipwrecks cannibalism and even rumors of murder it is the perfect destination for most adventures for for the most adventurous traveler to escape everything except the truth and there's a lot more to it i'm only reading the first paragraph but i picked this one up and then i grabbed a flicker in the dark again this one regularly 28 it has this price of 16.23 again i paid less than that um let me see. Yeah, it even says we'll keep you from we'll keep you turning pa we'll keep you turning pages. Yeah, because I keep on saying turn the pages. I don't know. I cannot put this book down. A twisty thriller, lyrical and utterly compelling. Sounds good. And it says when Chloe Davis was 12, 16 age girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. By the end of summer, her own father had confessed to the crimes. Ooh who was put away for life, leaving Chloe and the rest of her family to grapple with the truth and try to move forward. Now, 20 years later, Chloe is a psychologist in Baton Rouge and getting ready for her wedding. While she finally has a fragile grasp on the happiness she's worked so hard to achieve, she sometimes feels as out of control of her own life as the troubled teens who are her patients. When a local teenage girl goes missing and then another, that terrifying summer comes crashing back. Is she paranoid, seeing parallels from her past that aren't truly there? Or for the second time in her life, is Chloe about to unmask a killer? That sounded really good. And then I have Dark and Shallow Lies. In this town, magic runs deep, but secrets run deeper. Um, this one's valued at $17.99. And it says, this tiny town where 17-year-old Gray spends her summer is the self-proclaimed psychic capital of the world. And the place where Aurora Pellerin, Gray's best friend, disappeared some six months earlier. Gray can't believe that Aurora vanished into thin air any more than she can believe that nobody in town 
Nobody in a town full of psychic knows what happened. But as she digs into the night, Alora went missing. She begins to realize that everybody in town is hiding something. Her grandmother, Honey, her childhood crush, Heart, and even her late mother, whose secrets call to grave from beyond the grave. When a mysterious stranger emerges from the B.O. B.O.? B.O.? A stormy-eyed boy with links to Alora and the town's bloody history, Gray realizes that Laketch's past, Laketch's the town, is far more present and dangerous than she'd ever understood. Suddenly, she doesn't know who she can trust. In a town where secrets fester just below the surface like water raw and where murder is on the loose, nobody can be presumed innocent. And then I have... They'll never catch us. I believe Charmaine just showed this in a haul too. And I even said, girl, I have that sitting in my car right now. We say all the time, we are very much alike. This one is $17.99. And again, I paid less than that. I wish the invoice was here. I will put what I paid in the description box. I will find my email. But it's basically, it says, the Steckle assistants are only a year apart, but they're as different as sisters can be. Single-minded, driven, Stella keeps to herself. Ellie is no less ambitious, but she has fun with friends and a social life too. The only thing the sisters have in common is cross-country running. Until Mila comes to town. Mila was the top runner of her team back home. And at first, Stella and Ellie see her as a threat. But soon, Stella finds herself noticing all the things that have they have in common. Mila is strong and smart. Somebody Stella can finally connect with. As the two become friends, Stella becomes something she vowed she'd never be. Distracted. For her part... Ellie finds herself drawn to Miller's warm, charming personality. In a moment of weakness, Ellie even shares her darkest secret with Miller. With regionals approaching and college scouts taking notice, the pressure is on and the girls vow they won't let anything get in the way of their futures. But everything changes when Miller goes on a training run and never returns. No one knows what happened, but all eyes are on the Steckler sisters. And you see the bloody shoe, really good. And then I have three more, and they are all paperback. This one is called The Twin, um, and it says, I, this one says it's worth $11, uh, and these were probably like $6, uh, and it says, Ivy and, Ivy and Iris haven't lived together for years when their mother and father are divorced. Each parent got custody of one twin, but after a tragic accident takes their mom's lives, the devastated sisters are reunited, and Iris moves in with Ivy and their dad. Iris, is, Iris takes their mother's death especially hard. She barely talks, spending hours alone in her room. Ivy can't stand to see Iris so sad. She promised Iris that she can share her life now. After all, they're sisters, twins even. It's a promise that Iris takes seriously. And before I long, Ivy's friends, her teacher, and even her boyfriend fall under Iris' spell. Soon, Ivy begins to think there's something wrong with her twin. It's almost like Iris is out to get her. Ivy tells herself she's being paranoid. It's not like she's in any danger from her twin. The twin is an unputable down read that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. And that book, I mean that the cover i tried not to do the book by a cover but it definitely had me intrigued and now i even get it even more because their names are iris and ivy it says iris is watching me from the window but she's not in her bedroom she's in mine and then this one is called the lake uh this one sounded really good too welcome to camp pine lake where the only thing scarier than a ghost story is the past coming to haunt you as me and kayla once were campers at cape camp pine lake now they're back as counselors in training esme loves the little girls in her cabin and thinks it's funny how scared they are of everything the woods the bugs the boys even swimming in the lake it reminds her of how she and kayla used to be before because esme and kayla did something terrible when they were campers something they kept secret all those years they vowed that this summer will be awesome two months of sun s'mores and flirting with the cute boy counselors but then they get a message the lake never forgets the secret they kept buried for so many years is about to resurface. And again, this one's worth 11. These two are actually by the same writer. Um, it says right here, the list price is $8.78. But like I said, these, there were some that I paid like five, six dollars for. It was probably these. Um, even if I paid ten dollars for each hard cover, one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. And I'm pretty sure that's not the case because I definitely didn't spend just I have five hardcover books, and that's fifty right there. And the most I want to say I spent is 50. And I still have three soft cover books. You know what I mean? So those were all the mystery. And there is one that is not a mystery. And it's the Last Chance Library. I was looking for Library of the Dead because that was our book club book. The book outlet didn't have it. But as you guys saw, I got it from Thrift Books. Uh, but when I typed in library, this one popped up. And it sounded cute. It says this one's valued at 16 
And it says, June Joan emerges from her shell to fight for her beloved local library. And through the efforts and support of an eccentric group of library patrons, she discovers life-changing friendships along the way. Lonely librarian June Jones has never left the sleepy English village where she grew up. Shy and reclusive, the 28-year-old would rather spend her time buried in books than venture out into the world. But when her library is threatened with closure, June is forced to step out from behind the shelves to save the heart of the community in the place that holds the dearest memories of her mother. Joining a band of eccentric yet dedicated locals in a campaign to keep the library, June opens herself up to people for the first time since her mother died. It just so happens that our old friend, her old school friend, Alex Chen, is back in town and willing to lend a helping hand. The kind-hearted lawyer's feelings for her are obvious to everyone but June, who won't believe that anyone else could ever care for her in that way. To rescue the place and the books that mean so much to her, June must finally make some changes in her life. And maybe in fighting for her cherished library, June can save herself too. And it sounded cute. I figured it breaks up all the murder mystery. Because um, I do love a cute little romance too. And we definitely recommended some romance books for our book club. Um, so go check out that video. Um, go check out Charmaine. She's the person I do book club with. Check out my community tab. I will be adding. I will. It'll send the link to hers. Um, and I'll link her down below as well because we are voting currently. I think when you see this video, mm, the voting might already be closed, to be honest with y'all. But every Thursday is a book club video. So if you want to join book club in the future, the co if the community is not closed, definitely head on over and you can vote for a book. Um, it might not be closed, actually. So like I said, I can um, link the book club video down below, link Charmaine down below. I'll keep. A, I'll have some kind of link on my community tab. But every Thursday is a book club uh, video. If you guys like book club, every Monday is a mass Monday. Every Tuesday, Wednesday is an unboxing. I get Fab Fit Fun, Goldie Box, Walmart Beauty. I might be getting another box soon. Um, and then Fridays are my bonus video. It's usually decorating or a vlog. So if any of that sounds good to you, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, so you'll be notified next time I upload. If you like the video, you like me you like books book outlet give it a thumbs up it really helps the youtube algorithm i'll tag batty with the book down below as well she's a small channel that just started i actually shouted her out last friday for a feel good friday uh video it was my first one um so like fridays are a bonus video sometimes i change up what i'm doing um but she is like a booktube channel she's all about books i definitely do love books i dedicate at least one video a week obviously with my book club um and this is like a little bonus one because I will show you book hauls from time to time. I might even do start doing book reviews again. I was doing that for a little bit. Uh, but I do like showing you guys my hauls. I do shop. I do like showing you guys my unboxings. So I do get those boxes. I do really love Mass Mondays. I usually just I fill you guys in on my life or I answer questions. Um, and I do like this. Like this sweater is from Target. I have a Target haul that should be going up soon. Um, like I said, so if any of that sounds good, definitely consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. Like the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote more of my videos. Um, and comment down below. Tell me which book sounds the best to you. If you guys have a checked out book outlet or thrift books. Like I said, I will let you guys know what I paid in the description box down below. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.